Fatima, how to perform wudu, ghusl, with a bandage or plaster over the wound or uh, uh, on our body? Scholars say that I have to ensure that the water reaches the area in my wudu process. So I have to wash my hands and arms. If I have a cut here and I have a plaster, either I can remove the plaster and wash what's underneath it without any harm, then this is a must. Or if I remove the plaster and wash what's underneath, the healing process would be hindered and delayed or there will be more harm to the wound. In this case, it is prohibited to expose it. Leave the plaster where it is. When you perform wudu, if it's water resistant, then wash your hands and the plaster itself from outside and continue to do wudu without any problem. This is the same whether you have a plaster or a bandage or you have a cast. So let's assume my arm is broken from here till here. I perform normal wudu. When I come to the cast, I just wipe over it. I don't wash it. I just wipe over it. This is sufficient. If I cannot wipe over it, let's assume it's exposed and I can't have bandages on it. Try your level best to perform wudu, excluding that exposed area. And afterwards, perform tayammum for that area which you were unable to wipe over but if there's a bandage then this has no need for that and Allah knows best